let's say that you want to have not a horizontal screen like we normally have. No, you want to mix it up. You want a vertical screen. So what would you do to go through and make your regular screens vertical? Well, let me first show you something that I thought would work that will not. And that is if you go into screens and then configure screens, I thought that I could select, you know, I could make a new screen and select an aspect ratio that's kind of backwards. So if it's 1080p, do 1080 by 1920 instead of the other way around. But you'll notice with the Decklink Duo, it won't let you do that. It only chooses 1080p. Then I thought, well, maybe that's just uh, these, the Decklink screens. Maybe it's not the connected displays. So I've got uh, three connected displays. I'm on a MacBook Pro, so the middle one is built in, but the other two are external. So I thought about that, but that has the exact same problem. Now I can create a placeholder screen that, notice I've got custom size, so I can put that. But as soon as I assign it to an actual external screen, it flips it horizontal. So how do you go about doing this? Well, first add your screen as you normally do. I've added this one. This is DeckLink 3. It's the output of my DeckLink Duo 2 card, which is in a Thunderbolt enclosure. Um, links below the video, by the way, if you're looking for one of those. And so I've created that. Now I need to turn it sideways. So you'll notice everything is horizontal in here. Well, I've created a look specifically for the DeckLink 3 right here. So let me show you what that looks like and then I'll show you how I got there. So notice that it's turned sideways. Less than ideal for previewing, but it does uh, totally work when it comes to outputting it. So the first thing that I did was I went into um, themes. I created a theme and so uh, let me show you in the theme editor up here about this one. Now, I was doing some testing and trying, so I've got a little funkiness going on with the thumbnail and the preview here. I'm sure that's just a glitch in the version of uh, Pro 7 that I'm using. But first, I added a text element. So went up here, added text. And then, with that text element, I formatted it the way that I wanted to. Then, I rotated it 90 degrees. Now, depending on how you're hanging your TVs, it could be that you'll need to uh, turn it not 90 degrees, but uh, 270 instead. Do like that and notice that that flips it around. Or you can even do this freehanded. By the way, this will work if for some reason you wanted to have your TVs at an angle even. So you could do that. So let me actually go back here to 90. And then I added um, a text not a text element, but a media element. So I went up here and went to... Um, actually, I think I went to shape. And here's why I did that. So I went to shape, went to rectangle, and then I changed what the rectangle was filled with once I made it big enough and changed the fill to media right here and selected my picture. So I'm going to click Cancel here. So then, just like 
with the text element, I rotated it, so we'll notice that this also says 90 degrees. But you'll also notice that this down here is much bigger than the viewable space. And the reason for that is um, when I went into Inspector, and as I was troubleshooting, I added an effect that then I removed, so that's why it's pink. The um, in doing that, it wasn't showing the entire image, so I actually did the rotation not in Inspector, even though I have the ability to um, to do that to do the native rotation, you know, 90 degrees here. I could have done that, but instead. I did it out here so that I had more control and I stretched it and rearranged it and everything, you know. Imagine that this particular one, I, I actually liked this part of the image better. I don't because that's where the door closes to my set. So I'm going to actually scooch it over here just a bit. So I did that. Uh, one other thing I forgot to tell you earlier is in order to make the text fit correctly, I created the text box, but then I put a little space above it. You'll notice that I have the text right here. I originally made this when I was uh, working on a tutorial talking about ProPresenter 7 when it was brand new. Still fairly new. Just not brand spanking fresh out of the box new. So I made it this size. And then one thing that you'll want to do is under text, check the text scaling. It could be that in your circumstance, you want to fit the container to the text, scale the text up to fit the container, scale the text down to fit the container. That's probably the safest of those. And the other one is scale text up or down to fit container. If you do scale text up or down to fit container, the text will change from slide to slide. So let's uh, get out of this. And I'll show you just uh, some of the changes that have been made. And you see that that's how I do it with lyrics. I could do it just as easily with um, sermon notes. So notice that this will give you kind of wonky, a wonky look if you were to uh, have the superscript. So just keep that in mind as you're formatting everything. So that's how you turn a display. 90 degrees or 270 degrees in ProPresenter 7.